Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At and today we are taking a look at the alpha preview version slash demo of Warlocks. This is a game by One More Level which is a Polish developer. I would say it is very very similar to Risk of Rain but with a bit more of a fantasy RPG twist rather than the sci-fi elements that I had. Although there are sci-fi elements as well. It's a very hard game for me to categorise actually, I struggled to think up how I was going to describe it. By the way, this background track for the main menu is absolutely amazing. I like it a whole lot. It's got a bit of a Celtic twist to it, maybe that's why, but either way I really like the music in this build. Warlocks is being funded via Kickstarter, so there will be a link to that on the description box, in the description box below rather, where you can find out more information and you can also pick up a demo version for yourself. I believe this is the same version I've been sent, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, there is a versus mode, I'll talk about that a little bit, but I'm not going to do it. We'll go into story mode and I'll show you a little bit of how this plays. You can play local co-op and the full game will have online, but the demo does not. So we're going to single player here and we'll be taken to the character select screen. And if you are familiar with Risk of Rain, you should be seeing straight away very similar artistic styles. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing, by the way. I really like the art design in Risk of Rain. I think it's part of the limitation of Game Maker, possibly, but either way I like the design, so I like it in this as well. And the story mode, it calls it story mode, it's not really a story mode, the demo is comprised of a bunch of stages where you fight off waves of enemies and you progress towards a boss. I've never managed to make it all the way because I'm quite bad at this game, but I've tried it as a few characters, so let's see who have I tried it as. I've tried it as Christian, the fallen angel. He was the first character I tried because I liked his design, I did the worst as him. Uh, I didn't like his class abilities, I, I just didn't find they flowed. Maybe he's more of a co-op person where he's like backing up other people, but obviously I'm just playing by myself. I also tried... Lissy, the robot girl, because she uses a mech. It looks very, very similar to a Tau stealth suit, actually. So yeah, I did the best with her. Her abilities are really good if you're solo. She's got a flamethrower and like laser guns. She's got an invincibility buff and all that kind of thing. It's great fun. And then finally, I also tried Jake. Jake the pyromancer, because he just wants to watch the world burn. And I, I somehow appreciate that the most out of everybody. He's also one of the characters in the demo that's actually fully voiced, whereas Lissy and Christian weren't at all, in fact. So I think I'll play as Jake just so you can get a taste for the voice acting. And we'll get started here as Fire Phoenix is called Tucker. I'm, I'm going to have to move around a lot and just kind of play the game as I explain. I'm using the 360 controller even though it's listing keyboard buttons. So I'm actually using right trigger to jump. And the, but, uh, the skills along the bottom all correspond to a button on the 360 pad. So I have a basic channel fire attack. I can raise some flame barriers that enemies have to fight through to get to me. And then I also can channel... I can do a little bit of breakdancing in channels and meteorites, which looks badass. My hat also seems to be alive for some reason. I can just channel this forever, by the way. You don't want to, though, because those enemies explode and flying enemies can obviously get above you. And his final ability is a get-out-of-jail kind of ability where I just go whoop and skid along the floor. The wave I'm on is in the top right. Uh, I wish it showed you the entire wave number because it kind of scrolls along. I'm pretty sure it's like 10 waves or something like that. And you get procedurally generated loot. So whether or not I find any on this first stage is down to the game's whim, basically. I might or I might not. And I will show you the inventory screen when I get a chance to breathe, which will be after the waves stop and the portal to the next stage opens. So the game is about this kind of thing, but there is also big bosses. And you're ha I'm having to take the developer's word for this because I've never gotten to the end of this demo build. But you can see on the Kickstarter page like a giant battle against a fallen angel and there's some kind of big monster thing. It's, it looks very impressive. I love this style of art. That's the health potion which I'll pick up with right bumper and now I have that on S key for a keyboard. I can't remember which button that is on my 360 pad. I think it's left bumper from memory. Let's raise that. So do I, Jake. So do I. And it will continue as as this. There is more enemies that get introduced. The furthest I got introduced these really horrible looking dog type things that just leap at you super quick. But these suiciding guys are the bane of your existence early on because they're hard to kill and you don't really want to kill them while you're next to them. The gold you're picking up is relevant by the way because after I think it's the second or third stage you get a vendor. Although I've noticed that the vendors, like the price he sells things for are way too high. Now when enemies first appear, their, white, uh, their health bars are white. That means they're invincible, so you can't spawn camp. And that's our first bit of armour. Broken Bronze Greaves. I'm sure they'll be fantastic. Ooh, let's get... Oh, he hit me anyway. It seems to spawn more flying enemies when I'm playing as this guy, because his skills are so good at taking out land-based enemies. Ooh, let's work out how to use a potion. It is left bumper. 
What I would say about the keyboard controls is that having jump on right trigger I find very unintuitive. Although granted all the other buttons are basically being used so I understand why they've done that. I just think I, I just find it very hard to get used to that's all. Oh, I'll take that armor. Low quality but still. And we leveled up. So when you level up, you get a skill point to spend. In fact, I think I may have got more than one. Has this been auto leveling me? Because I just noticed some of my skills are leveled up. So anyway, yeah, I can hold left trigger and spend a point. I will spend it in there. I spent it in the big fireball thing because that's my favorite attack. Do I have any more? And I just wasn't paying attention. I totally do. Yeah, I had more. So it's almost mobile like in that sense. You get skill points to spend in any of your set skills you like. Then you can also buy gear. Burn. Burn. Uh, we don't need to use a health yet, we're doing okay. That might be a better bit of armour. It all equips what it assumes is better, although you can, as I said, manage your inventory after you're done. So we'll just nab that for now. Now it's getting a bit hectic. We're on the last wave of this stage though, so it should be okay. Take that cash, thank you. Let's hang around up here. Because then they can't get to me, although the flying enemies can. Come and catch me. And these should be the last enemies of the wave, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh, I guess it must just be a random chance for the vendor to appear then, because I've never had it after the first stage before. Sometimes, or every other time I've seen it, a chest appears that you have to try and platform your way to before going to the portal to end the stage. So let me just see if the uh, the chest appeared on this stage. I guess not. Hmm. I'm going to use the health potion because I need it. And before we go to him, let's press back and get into my menus. So I'm equipped with a helmet that gives me four armor. I have one that gives me nine, so I'll equip the nine. Thank you. What is this do? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I got a rare at some point. Armor plus 20. That is probably going to be the best. Or I can go for cooldown reduction instead, which I don't really need. I'm equipped with a damage 5, crit chance 5 dagger, or that's damage 7, damage 7. I'd rather take the crit chance. Armor plus 2, jump height plus 2. Oh, that's denominally better. Wait, that's not the word I was looking for. Either way, that was better. So 4 and 2, movement speed 19. I've got that get out of, you know, get out of dodge really quick skill, so I don't think I really need that. So we'll go as is and we'll sell the stuff we don't require to the... Demonstrably, that's the, the... I knew I was going to think of the word if I didn't focus on it. Anyway, let's get rid of the stuff I don't require. So, that's still not going to give me enough money to do anything, really. So, V to accept trade. What is V on my controller? It's Y. Okay. So, that leaves me with just over a grand of cash. Actually, he's reasonably priced this time, for the most part. Although, I've gotten pretty lucky with decent drops. That is just a better dagger. So we'll take that and we'll we'll buy it. Okay. How do I leave the How do I leave there? <laughs> I don't like the Michael Jackson impersonations. Oh also I totally forgot you could use a weapon in each hand. Or you can have have a certain shield combo. How do I No, I want this with this. Am I just unable or is this a two-handed weapon possibly? Hmm. I'm not sure if I can actually get the equipment set up I want. I want the the staff and the sword. There, done it. I wanna watch the that was a bit harder than it should have been, I think. Burn. Let's move on to the next wave. I can't remember if any new enemies are introduced in this hey stage or if it's the one after. But let's go burn some stuff. Oh, a glitch has happened that I've noticed in the demo version. Sometimes when you first get started, your abilities don't have animations even though they're working. Like I'm using my basic fire here, but Tucker's invisible. Take that. Oh, actually. Yeah, he is just gone. Where's Tucker? How do I make him reappear? There we go, I had to do that, so now it should work. There we go. That is hopefully just a glitch in the demo. And yes, it does introduce a new enemy. I despise these guys, because if you jump up to try and hit them, they then fly higher to avoid you. Hmm, here come a lot of enemies. Oh, those eyes, yeah, those eyes were just custom built to be bad against me. Chase me! Chase me! Well, actually, all these upper platforms are going to make it impossible for me to use the meteor spell as well. Also, they're spawning there, so that's a bad idea to camp there. Let's just go over here and let them come to us in a nice open area where I can use the meteorites. Etc. 
except against the flying ones. Come on, just walk into the meteors of death, I dare you. Ugh, you won't. There we go. I'm doing good damage though. Do I have any points to spend? No. Oh, that still hit me even though I was skidding? Oh. Yeah, so to talk a little bit about the versus mode that is planned. Apologies for the dog barking, she was right next to me. The versus mode is two on two. The co-op, I'm not actually sure. I, I believe it's up to four as well, so it would be four of you just going through the stages as well. I assume you have your own loot, or maybe you just have to try and share what drops. Do I need to use that health? Not really. Let's just get over here. Oh, there's a... That's another thing. Sometimes the scenery will actually block stuff so you can't see it. I've noticed that on later stages as well. Oh, mother load there. Lots of enemies though. So, I don't know if I'll play until I die. It depends how long that takes, basically. I'm not very good at the game. I don't think I've ever gone past stage 5, or maybe it's 4. Whatever the dogs get introduced. But I do actually find it much easier as him, as Jake, and also as Lissy, the, the mech wielding lady. But when I tried it with Christian, I just couldn't get past the second stage. His, his abilities didn't seem to work too well at present. And there is more characters to come, too. Right, so we're on the final wave of this stage. Which is good. Just bring up another wall and then start dropping some meteorites. If they walk into the range, they'll get killed. Tiny bit closer. Are my meteor is deliberately falling. Oh, there we go. Finally. Is there nobody left to play with? I want to watch the world burn. Take that. Burn. We'll take that. So, did we get a vendor? We did not. Did we get a chest? I don't think we got a chest either. Huh. Oh, this was stage four, I think. Judging by the top. We'll take that, and we can test if there's any better gear. I doubt there will, because we got actually pretty lucky. Oh well, that's just bare, so we'll take that. Right, we need leg pieces, ideally. And is that all we can do here? I'll use another potion, because I've got plenty. And... Yeah, sure, let's go to the next stage. Hey guys, meet my pal Tucker. Right. <laughs> you need to work on your evil laugh. Oh, it's doing it again where Tucker's invisible. Let's bring him back with that. Okay, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I think it's the stage past this one that I died on with the, the mech lady. And this one was pretty tough. The Meg Lady's invincibility saved me so many times. She does like a flying leap and where she crashes, she's invincible for a few seconds. It's like his get out of jail free, but at the same time she's invincible, whereas his isn't. He's still good though. I can I can appreciate fire, that's for sure. I also need to get up high to get these gets. Oh, I'll take the health potion, thank you. Yeah, why don't you down there try and get to me, although I need the money, so there we go. Uh oh. Just get out of there. And hopefully drop meteorites on them. Spawn. I'm not getting any leg armor. I'm using a pretty bad one too. Although the extra jump height is appreciated, there is much better things you could be getting. Oh, I need those flying enemies to sort off. So is this different enough to something like Risk of Rain, which as I said, it does share a lot of similarities to even the enemies look a bit like the enemies in that. I think so. I think they're going for something different. They're going for having epic boss battles, although obviously Risk of Rain had bosses too. They weren't exactly epic. They were bosses, sure, but they weren't on a large scale. And I think what they have planned here is really large scale. I'm going to choose another potion. Yeah, chase me. Get over here, I dare you. Can you platform as well as me? I don't think so. Well, you don't need to because you can shoot through the scenery. I don't like that enemy advantage in platformers where enemies can shoot through scenery but you can't. Oh, what is that down there? I'm actually not sure what that is. Let's go have a little look. Well, when I get the chance. What's that? It's a low quality... I missed that. Bronze bullets. I'm not sure where those equip. Oh, get away from the suiciders. I'll take the health potion, thank you. I'm glad the cooldown on that dash is super, super fast. And that's not going to drop down and kill them. We're doing well though, we're on wave 8 out of presumably 12 again. Or was that 11? I can't remember now. It should move along from 10 after I clear this wave. 
and this one is flying centric. Okay, HP's okay, yeah, 300 out of 400 is totally fine with me. Just pour fire down on them. Uh oh. Let's use a health potion. And get rid of them. Gotcha. The game is also, well actually I was going to say a lot harder than Risk of Rain. No, Risk of Rain is pretty damn hard. Risk of Rain also goes for like a roguelike, you find items that give you some kind of passive or active ability. Whereas this is just going for randomised gear with stats on it. Hooray! Let's level up my basic attack. I want it to do more damage. Whoa, that's like, is that 14 more damage per hit? That's really good. I'm a fan of just raising your basic attack. It pays off. Oh, better leg piece, thank you. I'm not sure if it all equipped it or not, we'll need to check in a second. This is actually the final wave, so we'll get our chance now. Yes. Ah, chest did appear this time. Good, 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 good. That will have a bit of very uh, rare loot in it. What about my... Oh, right, you equip that. Damage 6. I don't really want to try and mess with all this equipping because it's going to go between like all the different sets, but what about this? Armor 4... Oh, didn't get any better. Hmm, no. Right, so the portal is over on the left, but I want to go this way. Sweet loot. Galarian Sword of Nature. Nature applies many roots to your targets. I want this to do that, and then this to do that. Yes. Okay, so that's how it works. I get it now. Well, let's move on. So I am only going to do this one run in the video. Obviously, the demo is available to everybody, so if you want to see how any of the other characters... Uh, work, give a demo for yourself, give the game a go, and if you like what you see, consider backing it. If not, wait and see hey how the full release is. This is the stage that kicked my ass. I've never gotten past this. So if I do get past this, we'll actually get to see a boss, I think. So, oh, yeah, bring Tucker back. There we go. But it's these dog things, they just hound you when they appear. Pardon the pun. Oh, and of course, they have the eyeballs, which I hate as well. But the stage is a bit open, I think, right? So let me just test here. Yeah, it is quite open. So my meteors will do better here than they did last time. Oh, there's the dog things. My what? Oh, they can go through them? No, 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 they can't. Good. Actually, yeah, though, because I can raise barriers, essentially, that might actually save me from them. So that could be good. All right, we're already on wave three. Is it going easier on me because I'm recording? I seriously struggled, even as the mech lady, to do this stage. Oh, and I've got a good supply of health pushes as well. I think we'll actually get to the final stage and get to see a boss. Alright. Yeah, I see you, I think. Oh, I also... They're, they're getting symbols above their head whenever the root procs on them. Let's see if we can get that to happen again. Oh, yeah, like right there. I'm stopping them moving. That's helping against the dogs too because they can't dash and the, the flyers can't jump up into the air. Getting that rare sword was a very good get. Oh, all right, another dog. So we'll just lay down the barriers and then drop meters on him. Oh, wait, the charge goes through the barriers. Okay, let's use a health pot. Wave six. Oh, we'll take the health potion, thank you. Again, presumably there's 11. So we are getting there. More dog things. Oh, yeah, me not being invincible during my dash is annoying. Okay. Let's see if we can route him to the spot to get him. We did. That's exactly how that went down. More dogs, more suiciders, more of everything. We're almost there. Very, very close now. Oh, a sword. Thank you. Ow. Okay, if you let a lot of them hit you, your health can plummet. I went below half there. That's what I get for standing still, but of course I have to stand. Oh! Oh, it's broken. Never mind. Burn! Hate these eye things. Let's use another potion. We're almost there. So, oh, so it is 12 waves for this one. Ow. They're hitting me for about 60, I think, which is pretty bad when you've only got 400 and something HP. Uh, yeah. 
health potion because we're going to pick up another one anyway. Take that. Yeah, I think the idea with the dog things is to make them chase you so that they can't stop to do their dash. Got another health potion, fantastic. I assume there's a cap. Oh, is that it? Oh, no, no. This is the final wave now. Okay. the world burn. Ow. Yes! Okay, so I've never made it as far as this and we got the vendor again. Uh, I think I'm pretty okay with my rare stuff though. I technically could sell some things, but I think we could probably just go. Do I have any points to spend? I do not. Yeah, let's see what awaits us and that'll be where we end this let's look at. It is a boss because I've seen screenshots from the Kickstarter. I believe the boss is called Fallen Angel. Slow motion matrix effects. This music is badass as well. Okay. Oh, I need to do the thing to make Tucker reappear. Ow. Alright, you hurt. Let's use the second potion. Are you firing at me? Oh, you are firing at me. I'm just going to hang back and do my basic attack if you don't mind. Because it seems to be working. Fire against fire. Whose fire is stronger? Ow. Yours is. I did 112. Oh. No, I jumped you that time. Oh, I'm rooting him to the play and uh, to the spot constantly. Uh, is that signpost? What the hell? Oh, really shouldn't jump into that. I'm already using half my health potions. Yeah, rooting this guy to the spot seems to be working really, really well. Yeah, whoever did the music for this game, really, really good. I might actually win. I've only got two health potions left and he can do a lot of damage with one hit. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yes! I won! More fire! Oh, Christian, what are you doing here? What the... Is this... Was I supposed to unlock you by beating this guy? Maybe? Hmm. Can I even reach that? Oh, I can. Well, I didn't expect to be able to actually finish this demo in this video, but I did. So yeah, this has been Warlocks. I would say it's definitely one to watch, particularly if you were a fan of Risk of Rain. So with that, I shall say thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did indeed like or want to support me or the developers. The link to the Kickstarter is below where you can play this for yourself. My name has been Flick, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta for now.